got it eventually. So win four draws, win. <laughs> this <laughs> this is classical chess, you know. Pick up a win here and there. That's all you can ask for, really. Okay, let's go e6. Okay, bishop g5. Just wanted uh, to play a head check type of position. Let's go c5 then. Trade on d4, bishop e7. Too much BS in chat, somebody's saying. Can't argue with that. Okay, there is there are some more aggressive ways to set up with bishop f6 there, but I deferred castling a little bit in order not to in order to be possibly be able to castle queen side in case he starts attacking on the king side. Now this is generally quite solid for black. I'm, I don't love the fact that I've played h6, so I might want to put the bishop around. But, yeah, you can't have it all. Probably gonna end up, yeah, setting up um, a head check structure, so that's the one I got now. Why is this, this color keep changing? It's kind of funny. Okay, let's go knight h5, trade a little bit. Generally speaking, I'm doing doing fine. Slightly slightly worse because of the space, but my position is very um very solid and potentially I do have a couple of pawn breaks with e5 and b5. Now I'll just trade. Knight f6 back. And yeah, life is if not good, then at least decent. Queen of four. Don't know what that does. Attacking this one, but I'll go b5. And then I'm also covering that square. I think he's playing a little bit softly here. Now I get queen b7 and I think structurally I have a slight advantage um, since I will be able to create some kind of minor minority attack on the, um, on the queen side and compared to normal queen side um, Carl's pledge structures my pawn is still on d6 not on d5 and that, that means that these squares are covered for his knight. And um, that makes my position a little more flexible. You can also exchange queens, but let's not, let's not rock the boat. Um, so how to progress now? Rook a4 is interesting. B3, I will view that as a weakness. And maybe just go back. Otherwise, I want to take over the a, a, a file, and whenever he takes b a four, this pawn becomes weak. So I'm I'm trying to exchange everything on the on the queen side here, more or less, and then just potentially have the better pawn structure with these four or five against these five or for if we exclude the c3 and d6 pawns, which may also be exchanged eventually. Yeah, okay, I'll take, take rook a8. So if I go rook a8, he, he has got c4, which is annoying me. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take and rook a8. If he takes, takes queen b5, 
queen a1. Um, there's damn arrows again. Uh, queen a1, knight f1. What's going wrong here? Never mind, knight f1, queen c3, queen b8, king h7, queen d6, knight, queen b3, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, slightly better. Vlad is certainly taking his time now. Okay, knight of one. Interesting. Yeah, let's go knight d5. Queen c3, knight c queen b5, knight c3 looks good. Also c4, knight of four probably wins a pawn. So he has to go g3, I believe. Which he duly has done. Maybe I just have nothing here. I got nothing, nothing is what I have. Damn it. Hmm, no, I probably don't have anything. I'm somewhat up on time at least. Let's exchange, try and pretend that his pawn is a bit weak. Ninety-two, I think. Maybe d5, cd, it's too little. This is probably also too, too little. B5, G4 maybe. Yeah, I'm not at all better. Okay, draw. 